What's up everybody, Sonic Blue here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play regular 2D PC games in 3D. Not necessarily VR, but you will be able to play these games in something such as big screen or virtual desktop, and it will add 3D to it. So, you know, if you remember going to see a 3D movies or if you had a 3D TV, you're basically going to be converting your game into a 3D format, and you'll be using the side-by-side -side feature. To start, you're going to be using something called Super Depth 3D. Now, in the description, I have put the files you'll need to download and it consists of two downloads one is going to be reshade the actual file and the next one is going to be shaders so once you've downloaded both of the files in the description you should have reshade and the shaders folder and what you're going to want to do is load it up and you're going to get this little box here now once you're here if you're using Vulkan if you're on a GTX, like most games aren't going to use this. Most are going to use, you know, like DirectX because that's what, or Direct3D. So that's, you know, you're going to click this big button right here. Now it's going to scan and find all your games or all the applications that you have on your PC that could be a game. And if you can't find the game, you're going to browse right here. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using Resident Evil 2. So basically, I'm just going to go to my desktop since I have a shortcut there. And Resident Evil 2 is right here. Okay, we're going to open that up. And it's going to ask which render API does, you know, whatever application use. Now if you're on an older one, that uses such something like DirectX 9 or before, you know, basically anything before DirectX 10, you're going to use DirectX 9, obviously. But most modern games are going to be DirectX 10, 11, or 12. So you're going to select that. And if you're using OpenGL or Vulkan, you know, you can select those too. We, however, are using DirectX 10, 11, and 12. We're going to be using 12 specifically. So click that. Then it's going to ask you which effects you want to install. Now, you can look through these and see if you see any cool little, you know, shaders that you might like. You you may, you know. But what I like to do is uncheck all. And I am only going to download I check depth 3D just to make it actually put something in a folder in the game directory. So you've got this one checked, Depth 3D, and you're going to click OK. Now it's going to download the shaders and all the files it needs. When you see this, you may now close the setup tool or click this button to edit additional settings. Just close it. Alright, now we did that to the Resident Evil file. So then what you're going to want to do is go to the game directory, whatever the the root directory is for the game and you are going to have some stuff called a folder called reshade shaders I'm gonna go into that folder and the folder that we downloaded called shaders you can just drag them over into it but what I like to do is go into the folder and actually drag over super depth 3d you know drag them all over you're not going to use them all and I honestly don't know what some of them do but you know you can play around with them I know they are for VR and 3D so you know you may enjoy them you may find a use for them but once you've done this you are then going to load up the game now I'm going to mute my game so that the audio doesn't come through, but and you see it's loaded in a windowed mode. I'll have to change that, but you see up here in the corner, well, it now you see up here in the corner, we have reshade 4.5 version, you know, installed and to get to it on your keyboard you are going to hit the home key 
when you hit the home key it's going to bring this menu up now the home key is located above the the directional arrows on a keyboard and it is right next to page down and up and right next to the delete key on most not the backspace key the delete key and once you've clicked that it's going to open this menu up and you just can click i skip tutorial all right now once you've done that all of these are the shaders you can ins you know you can activate and since we're want to want to add a 3d effect to this game we're going to do super depth 3d and then you hit the home key again and it closes that menu now if you'll notice we've got a dual side-by-side -side screen here outputting on our display now if you were using virtual desktop or you know something like uh, TriDef or which I'm not sure how the 3D works in TriDef I've never used it myself for this specific application but uh, on big screen this works amazingly now I share the gameplay with people in big screen and they can actually watch you play these games in 3D uh, you know and you can have as big a room as you want you know based on your internet connection but you know it's it's pretty fun you know having a group of people in there while you play a game and, and it's in 3D and you know y'all are all kind of going through it works really well with horror games now uh, I'm gonna do a, a, another video on some some of the best games to use this with because I've actually tried it on a lot and I have found ones that work amazing with it and ones that don't work at all with it and you know you can turn the effects on but when it when it lines up I guess the the depth map on the game isn't you know doesn't work with this program properly but uh, for the most part the 3d effect is amazing in all games now you know you're splitting your screen in half so think take that into consideration and adjust your settings to each game accordingly but if you have any questions you know comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you and answer you as soon as possible uh, need any help like I said just comment and thank you for watching and please I've noticed a lot of people watching these videos but you know nobody's subscribing If you guys will subscribe more I've got a lot of things that I want to do uh, mainly some game giveaways and a lot of things I want to show people how to do that would save a lot of money and time so please if you like these videos you know subscribe to subscribe to my channel so you can see more stuff like this and be sure to hit the like button so that I know you liked it thanks for watching